Hello guys, some of you requested that I make a video explaining on how armor and penetration works in the Cyclo Frontier. Now this is the best I can explain to my ability. If you want to find out more, head over to the Cyclo Frontier Discord under Wiki Discussions. All the credits for the charts and the graphs goes to the guys in Wiki Discussions. I haven't created any of them, they understand more and can explain better. I'm making this as simple as possible to the best of my ability. This is for the current patch that happened on 30th of March 2022. How armor and penetration works might be changed in the future. Anyway. Let's get straight in. How does armor work? Each armor tier has its own armor rating. Example, white armor is 10 armor with both head and body. What does that mean? It means that a white gun, example PDW, unmodded with its 10 damage and 10 pen will deal 100% of its damage. So a gun that has equal pen to the armor rating of the armor will deal 100% of its damage. In this case, that's 10 damage. However, there are different multipliers for head, chest and legs. So if you have enough pen to go through the armor, the damage will get adjusted based on those multipliers. But for the sake of this video, we will not be exploring those multipliers. Anyway, let's take a look at green armor versus unmodded PDW. Green armor has 15 armor rating and PDW unmodded has 10 pen. That means it will not pen the armor. However, it will still deal damage, but not its full damage. The armor will reduce the damage. In this case, since it's 15 armor versus 10 pen, it will reduce its damage to 80% of the 10 damage that the gun does. So that would be 8 damage when shot in the chest. Simple, right? The more the armor, the less the damage will be done by the guns with lower pen than it. Now, how would I do with no armor fair against the PDW unmodded? Since the health pool is 100 points and PDW's damage is 10 with 10 pen, it will be an increase of 30% damage, which in this case would be 13 damage to the chest. Also, damage and health are both in decimals, which we will not be exploring in the video. All the things that I'm showing are without them for simplicity. Also, I will not be exploring pen mods in this video, since all the damage about them that I had before the patch for AR-55 is invalid now. But for simplicity, adding one extra pen to your gun increases its damage. Meaning if you have 15 armor and are shot by 16 pen, it will deal increased amount of damage. Let's now see a green gun with 15 pen against white armor. Green gun in this case goes through the armor, but since it had 5 extra pen, its damage has been increased by 20%. Meaning higher the pen, the higher the damage you will do to less armor targets. Here's the chart showing how many bullets you need to kill someone with various weapons. Ignore the gorgon, it's bugged. This chart however is from the patch before 30th of March 2022. And since the penetration was changed in that patch, take each gun and add or take away one bullet that it takes to kill. Here is a graph showing how increased pen increases damage of guns and how higher armor reduces the damage. As you can see, it doesn't scale in a linear fashion. If you have 20 armor, in this case blue armor, and are getting shot by a white gun, the armor will reduce the gun's damage to 67% of its base value. Armor in the cycle frontier works as damage reduction. It doesn't add more health to your character or a shield. In conclusion, what did we learn from this? Armor in the cycle frontier works as damage reduction, unlike how it works in Apex Legends where it's just an addition to your overall health, or how it works in Tarkov, where if the bullet doesn't pen, it will deal blunt damage. And the more penetration that you have, it's added to your overall gun damage, as a damage increase over armors that have less armor rating compared to your gun. If you have any more questions, I'll answer them to the best of my ability in the comment section below, or you can head over to Wiki Discussions in the Cycle Frontier Discord. Thank you for watching.